Aunt Lena here with the art project Chalk Stencil Mountains. For this we're going to need some chalk and toilet paper, very important. We'll need a pencil and some paper. You can use just regular copy paper, but I'm using a sketch paper for my stencil. And then for my final page, I'm going to be using watercolor paper, or you could use mixed media. And again, if you just want to use copy paper, that works too. Okay, I'm going to be getting my stencil ready first. And I'm going to draw right in the middle of the paper kind of some ups and downs like you might see with mountains. We're going to be tearing this out to make the stencil. And usually it works pretty good if you put your finger up against the pencil line. If you don't get it exactly on the line, it's not that important. It's just a guideline. We do want to tear it instead of cut it because we want kind of jaggedy, raggedy edges. So now we have these rough edges here that's going to make for a nice look when we're done using it as a stencil. I'm going to be using both this edge and that edge. So I'm going to look and see which way do I want this for my top mountains. I'm trying that way and this way. I kind of like this way. We're going to go ahead and mark this pretty heavily, fairly close to the edge. It doesn't have to be right up at the edge because what we're doing is we're loading this chalk onto the stencil and we're going to be using toilet paper. <laughs> and to get that color off my hands right now, I'm just going to use that edge of that toilet paper. Okay, now here is my what I'm calling my final paper. Now, I want it to come down off that page. So I'm setting this up here toward the top. And you can see through that, which is nice. You can really see where we have to hold on to it. Get our fingers right on here, or thumbs. <laughs> and I'm going to take this toilet paper and just let me move this over this way so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just moving this down onto my final paper. And every time I move, I want to be careful that I don't move the paper, but I just move my hand. Okay, and I want to keep that pressure close to where I'm at when I'm doing the, the smearing. Okay, now I see there's like real streakies there. And, you know, that can add some effect. But I want to soften that a little bit, so I'm just going to go a different direction now. Instead of going straight down, I'm going to kind of go to the side, like that. And what we're doing is getting that chalk to smear onto the paper. I do want to draw this down a little bit more, but I want the darkest to be up toward the top. Okay, now let's take a look and see. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Okay. We're not done. This makes a nice distant mountain range. But what we can do now is make another range down here. And again, we have to pull down. So when we put this on, we can kind of see through it. I kind of like that. Okay, so I'm going to be applying color to this, and I'm going to do it while I have this right on the paper here. Let's use another darker color. Use this blue here. I do save the cerulean blue, or that sky blue color. I save that for a little bit of sky if we want to add that. And of course that's up to you what you like to do. This is not going to be a perfect exact. It looks just like the mountains. But it does look pretty close. <laughs> now we're going to smear that onto the paper. 
and this time I'm pushing away from myself. When you put that stencil down, that's when you really have to decide, okay, where do I want this mountain range to be? Okay, now, again, it's streaky, so I'm going to pull a different direction. That's going to get rid of that really harsh markings. We want it to be a little more subtle, especially as we get closer to the bottom of the page, which is here. <laughs> I've got it upside down so you can see what I'm doing better. Okay, pull that away. Nice. So we have another part, and you can see between this mountain and that mountain, we have some fog in here. Isn't that nice? Okay, now we could add many layers, but I think what I'm going to do, make another stencil that's not quite so roundy. I mean, so pointy. More, I'm going to make it more slopey, like that. So let's go ahead and share this one. And this is going to be, um, I'm going to use green on this, so it'll be more like a grassland in front of mountains. Use this color here. These are in the distance. Those can be a little lighter color. This one we want to be a little more intense, so I'm putting extra chalk on that. Okay. And I'm looking. Okay, I think that's going to be pretty nice. Okay, and I'm smearing off to the side as I'm doing it this time instead of straight down. I'm kind of going to the side. Now let's try that again the other way. We're going to keep adding green to that until we get the amount of green that we really want down here. I'm going to add another color of green with that to make it a little more interesting. Okay, we're going to get that back right where that stencil mark is. And with this very same tissue, I'm going to Now, if we're wanting to get more color down here and we're just not getting much, what you can do is just add more color in one spot even and just smear it down with your tissue and just pull that down here. This is picking up the chalk, so it's kind of like applying paint to a brush. Okay, now let's lift it and see. Okay, I like that. Now to add a little bit of sky, we can take some scratch paper. Um, sky blue, sometimes called cerulean. Now we don't want a lot of dark blue close to the top of the mountains. Uh, the sky is more intensely blue higher away from the horizon. Let's load that up like loading a paintbrush. As it gets closer to the horizon, it gets softer or lighter blue. It just takes a little more loading. <laughs> okay, there we go. And because skies sometimes have these light, wispy clouds up here, we might get little pieces of chalk that... that uh, make a streak here and that is fine but as we get closer to the mountain range let's not put any blue we're just going to make that white so there's like fog coming off of that a little more up here every time we add chalk start up here and come down so that you don't end up with a big chunk of bright blue real close down here. So start up here and then when it's rubbed off a little bit then you can add a little more color down here. 
Okay, now see, I got some there that I don't like. And if that happens, take a fresh piece and just rub it down. Now using um, mixed media or watercolor paper will make that a little easier to do. Okay, so now we have what we're going to call our chalk mountains. I always think it's a good idea to sign your artwork. 